Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So today I am making my spring altar. So I want you to just come along the ride so you can see how I decorate my altar. And I'll just kind of show you a couple things that you can do if you want to create your altar for the very first time. So let me show you what my altar looks like currently. So this is what my altar looks like at the moment. It's still decorated from like Christmas time and Yule and I believe in bulk, which is already passed. So now I need to make this look like spring. So let's go ahead and declutter everything and reorganize it so it looks more colorful. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is my altar setup for spring. You probably noticed that it doesn't look too different, but I definitely wanted to incorporate some spring elements. So here I added some like fun spring potpourri, which I used last year. And then it had like some floral type potpourri shape. So I decided to just, whoops, that kind of broke off, but I decided to just incorporate some flowers to like have around the altar to give it a bit of a, like a nature vibe. I always change out my candles, so I thought the purple would look really nice with my table runner. And I used this last year, it's like, it's covered in incense dust, but um, I tried to like flip it to the other side. My cedar bundle here on the east side. So here's something you should know when it comes to altar setup. So with altars, you pretty much can make them as complex or as simple as you want. And your altar should honestly be a reflection of who you are as a person. This is what I use to conduct any rituals that I do. I do believe that altars should have the following. I think they should have candles, incense, they should have like a little bell or something for sound cleansing. Basically, they're supposed to be something that like represents liquid. So I just use a little goblet here and you can do some like dried fruit, which is technically this is a dried fruit potpourri. You don't have to do that. Crystals, sage, what else? You can do tarot cards here. I personally feel like I don't have enough room for my tarot cards. So that's why they're up there. Altars, when they're used in like everyday practice, I do know that basic altars are catered to the four directions, north, south, east and west. It's important that you are able to identify the directions. So thankfully, like I know that I have a northwest facing window, so I'm able to tell that this is north. You can also use like the compass on your phone to determine what directions are what. So mine is pretty much easy. Um, as you typically would know it, north, south, east, west. So there are different things that you put in the different directions. Let's just start with east, which is this section right here, represents air. So every direction represents the elements. So that would be fire, water, air, and earth. What I can tell you that can represent air some people do feathers. I don't do feathers, but incense is a great way to represent air. So that's what I choose. This is where my incense goes and right here, which would be for like powder incense that I would put on a hot charcoal tab. And then on the Western side of the altar, you have water. With water, it's simply just like a goblet of water. I don't put any water in here unless if I'm doing a spell, but I do have like the goblet that represents what water would be. So then for the Northern part of the altar, it represents earth. So this is about like nourishment. So stones, so like crystals is a really good example. And then I also decided to do some potpourri where it has like flowers, even though they're not real and just these fun little stones and fresh 
fake fruit or whatever. So I put that towards the north as well. So this is what represents the earth side. And then for the south side, it represents fire. So candles go here. I should move that and I'll move that around. So that is where I put my candle. I may move it to the side when it's lit just because I'm always afraid it's gonna fall off my altar. But that is just something that I do when I have the candles there. And then I added like some sound and some salt for just more like spiritual purposes. The salt represents protection. The sound is to soothe and cleanse my space. So sometimes if I want to cleanse my altar, I'll just ring the bell. And now the altar is cleansed. The sage also, or sorry, the cedar bundle could also go there too because this represents earth, but just for the sake of how I set it up in my room, in the room that I have, I just put it here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you can see, I do have all of the elements represented in the respective cardinal directions that they're supposed to be in. So yeah, this is my spring altar. Let me know in the comments on below if you plan on decorating for spring. I will say spring is my least favorite season, but I am looking forward to longer days. So that's gonna be really nice. So if you liked my setup and you learned something new about making altars, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.